Meetings are long and boring and antiquated. How do you fix that? With a little AI, ChatGPT, and this tutorial. All right, before we dive in, let me talk about what this is and what we're doing here. What's going on? My name is Jordan Wilson. I'm the host of Everyday AI. We're a daily live stream, podcast, and free daily newsletter helping everyday people like you and me learn and leverage generative AI to grow our companies and our careers. So if you're new here, thanks for watching. Please make sure to subscribe to this channel. Leave me a comment too, what you think. And also, most importantly, go to youreverydayai.com and sign up for that free daily newsletter. So we do these little AI in five tutorials every single day, uh, teaching you how to actually use generative AI. All right, enough of that. Let's jump in and let's do this live. So we're going to do this live. I always like doing this because sometimes things come up and I like to show you the truth of what's happening inside of ChatGPT. So right now I uploaded a summary of a meeting that I had with some of my coworkers. So um, aside from everyday AI, we have clients and we help them with digital strategy. So it could be something like customer acquisition, uh, SEO, advertising, et cetera. So this is a meeting with our internal team going over some of our own internal projects and client projects. So I am uploading this into ChatGPT. So to do this, uh, it's pretty simple. You will need the paid version of ChatGPT Plus and just use the default mode. So the default mode is actually useful now because you can upload files like this and also use Browse with Bing. So let's very quickly look at what I'm asking ChatGPT to do in this chat. Um, essentially, I'm telling it to do seven, seven things. To analyze the transcript, to write a brief summary, to create a to-do list, uh, then... Here's where things get interesting and where it's really going to save you time. Because yes, these first three things, whether you're a project manager, you're just in charge of pushing something forward, they're time consuming and no one likes doing them. But here's where we start to get a little strategic and really start to use uh, ChatGPT to its fullest potential. So I'm saying use Browse with Bing to find relevant information about topics talked about, mainly focusing on content from 2023 or 2024. You got to provide a little targeted role uh, in there. And then I'm saying propose additional solutions based on your research. So I am basically turning ChatGPT into a fourth employee. There are three of us on this call. ChatGPT is probably going to do a better job of all of us uh, of, of, you know, properly uh, following up with all of this information. Um, so not only is it researching this, but it's going to find us new solutions because maybe we were talking about things that weren't relevant, or maybe there's a better way out there that we just didn't know. So this is like inviting an expert consultant into your meeting with you. Then I'm saying propose next steps uh, for the next meeting with the same people. So it's like, all right, don't just analyze this meeting and find us new solutions. Go ahead and plan the next one, including what topics we should, should be discussed. Then I'm saying, write a quick and informal email from me, Jordan, to the other participants. Bam. All right. Then I give it a recap of what it should include because this first prompt, it's a little difficult um, for one prompt. I normally don't do this. We teach prime prompt polish. It's a prompt engineering method. So if you want access to that, just let me know. Just leave a comment that says PPP. But uh, I'm recapping what it, the reply back should include. All right. So let's take a look. So here's our attendees, the date, and here's what we discussed. So yes, we were talking about the Everyday AI website, actually. We did a little talk on uh, a client as well. So uh, here we have website and SEO analysis. We talked about some different SEO tools, some strategies, and some content management. So here's the decisions and act action points for one for each of us. Here's the to-do list for the three people in the meeting. Wow. Okay, now I'm now ChatGPT says next I'll use the browse tool to find relevant information and topics discussed. Okay, so here's some things. I mean, I know these things, right? I was in this meeting, but I'm like, huh, interesting. I didn't really think of voice search optimization, right? I was kind of running the meeting, so I wasn't thinking of, okay, maybe we should be optimizing some of our articles on the Everyday AI website for voice search. Makes sense, right? Uh, video. So a lot of different things that are based on the content and the context of the meeting that maybe we didn't bring up in the meeting. Are you seeing the power of this and how much time it saves you? So not just that. Here's the proposed steps for the next meeting. All right. Pretty sweet there. And now here's individual emails to the other participants or one email to both of them, giving them next steps. What the frick? This is pretty amazing. 
All right. Uh, so that is a very simple way that you can use uh, ChatGPT to very quickly uh, become your meeting assistant slash consultant slash boss, right? Running it for me. All right. If this was helpful, and I hope that it was, please subscribe to this channel. Uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what you want me to do next. And also go to youreverydayai.com. Sign up for that free daily newsletter. Also join us, uh, listen on the podcast, but we do a live stream every single day. Most days we bring on a guest and you can ask them questions live, right? Where else could you talk to as an example, you know, a senior director from Microsoft and ask them about Microsoft Copilot or talk to a successful entrepreneur that's grown a multi-million dollar company and say, what's your secret? You do that here with Everyday AI. So subscribe to this channel, sign up for the newsletter, and we'll see you back for another AI in five. Thanks.